All right, hey, what is up, guys? There's Slate here. This is actually probably your first time hearing me commentate over a video, but yeah. Today I'm showing you guys how to do a sick effect. It's called Meta Ball. Something like this here. How it's kind of like blobby uh, DNA kind of thing around your text. This is also gonna be an upcoming speed out here for Shopify. I do a shitload of banners for him. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. So first we want to come up here and haul out a sphere, a circle. And after you have that done, you can come up to MoGraph cloner and just drag and drop your sphere into it after you have that done go to cloner and for mode select grid array so now that you have this here you can just, just tone down the size of our spheres okay that should work so now that you have that done and like this is honestly trial and error like you can do it however you want but this is how i prefer it so then you want to come up here to this little like i don't even know what to call it but you see around too and just choose meta ball drag and drop your cloner into meta ball and uh yeah so when you come to meta ball i usually change the hue value to about 700 600 800 just around that area and change the editor subdivision to about seven or six i'm gonna put it to six so now you have this so after you have that done come to cloner just select the cloner which is in the middle of both of these and then come out the MoGraph, effector and random which gives you this pretty cool everything spaced apart and even if you just leave it like this it looks really sick to put your text in and shit so now you after that you want to come to both sphere and like you can mess around with it you just pick this little square tool up in the corner to resize it and you can make it really look really nice and it's like it's really good for putting your text on and stuff so it kind of looks about dna and stuff so you want to come to random and you can just mess around with the strength and all sorts of things you can do it but so I'm not gonna put a material on it and render it because I just I have shitty render speed and I had no materials loaded into this Lightroom. But you see what it'll look like once it's rendered. Look like here. I usually put a transparent material on it. I just find it looks really nice with a bit of transparency. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Really quick tutorial. Nothing much to it. Really easy. Looks really sick. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys next time. I'll probably do another tutorial. Sometime next week with Photoshop or even like a text tutorial. So uh, yeah, peace.